Where do you see the Bronte sisters' influence in popular culture, specifically Jane Eyre? And are there any modern incarnations or are there any modern characters who seem drawn from Bronte's work? I think rather than specific characters, I see Jane Eyre as having influenced almost all of women's writing um, since the 1970s when Charlotte Bronte's writing was quote-unquote rediscovered by feminists and people started reading it avidly once again. Not maybe that they had ever stopped, but any character, any young woman character who is forthright, who sticks to her own integrity, who refuses to let adults tell her what to do unless she respects them, who holds out for her own happiness, is influenced by Jane Eyre one way or another. Of the three sisters, Anne Bronte is perhaps the least popular, and in the Bronte sisters we have published her best-known work, Agnes Grey. Can you share your perspective about Anne as a writer, her place in her family, and this novel? Anne is the Bronte sibling whom I know least about, and I did learn a lot about her from editing essays about her writing in our book, The Brontes in the World of the Arts. Anne writes about many of the same subjects that her more famous sister Charlotte writes about. She writes about ambition, women's ambition. She writes about women trying to discover who they are when they don't have anyone encouraging them, Um, women hoping that the man that they love will finally turn to them and offer them what they've been waiting for for such a long time. And Anne is a remarkable writer because she manages to write about virtue and integrity in a way that's not priggish at all. She gives us characters, women characters in particular, who are really certain of what they know is right, even though they don't have anyone reinforcing that for them. Do you have opinions about Branwell, the only brother with many demons, and his role among his more successful sisters? Branwell is a fascinating enigma. He did not develop his talents to the same extent that his sisters did, although family resources were much more invested in his training, especially in the visual arts. It's sad to consider that Charlotte badly wanted to be trained as a visual artist to a professional level, and she didn't have access to that kind of training, but Branwell did. He painted in oils, and he trained to be a portraitist, and many of his efforts at portraiture we still have, along with many of his efforts at writing. But it it takes a real leap of the imagination, I think, to consider what he could have done if he had lived long enough and taken care of himself and been able to realize the genius that he had, whereas with his sisters, that genius is apparent and is fully formed. For students and readers who love the Brontes and their works, what are other classics that you enjoy teaching along with them? I think it's wonderful to contrast the Brontes with their contemporaries, with Dickens, uh, with George Eliot, who came a bit later in the century, Um, but also to think about how the Brontes' depictions of women writers influenced later authors, such as Virginia Woolf, who wrote very intelligently about both Charlotte Bronte and Jane Austen. I've asked this of you before. The question we always consider in the office is, what makes a classic? From feedback from your students, how do you think they define a classic? I think if they were to put it into words, they would say a classic is a book that reaches out to them across the miles, across the years, and makes them keep on reading, makes them keep on wanting to know what's going to happen to a character they care about, and makes them think differently about themselves. None of my students imagine that they could put themselves in Charlotte Bronte's place or that they really know what it would have been like to be a real woman in 1847 but they all feel connected to Jane Eyre in some way, as if she embodies an aspect of experience that they recognize in themselves. And I think a literary classic is a work that does that for people decades, centuries later, and in different nations. Thank you, Juliet, for sharing your thoughts on the Bronte sisters. 